Charles Moon of Prosper Trading Academy joins me now for the stocks that he would pick up to put in his shopping cart. Happy to have you on the show as always. Thank you for having me, Angie. What are your top picks? Yeah, so when we talk about the holiday season, we want to talk about some consumer staple names, right? So I'm going to talk about one that's actually fairly expensive and one that's undervalued. Let's start with the expensive. Yeah, so Target. You know, we, we all look at Walmart and we're looking at Costco and we're looking at other names, but I don't think Target's being talked about enough. They're going to have free shipping available for the holiday season. That's a really big boon. We know that Target's a little bit more expensive than what you would purchase, uh, items that you would purchase normally at Walmart, but we've seen that the demand is there. and so. If they could increase the e-commerce business, the whole reason why the stock is up is because of their growth in e-commerce. We're gonna see that boom coming in. Target has done a great job, I have to say, of keeping up with the times. Oh, yeah. it, it always had a great image with the Target. People yeah, go absolutely. there because you can find some fabulous things and for not much money, but it's a really aggressive approach that this company seems to have. Yeah, and it's a really smart approach. They, they, they knew where their shortcomings were, and most notably, they knew where they had to kind of transition, and they took a very aggressive stance. It's a very similar model that Walmart had to take because they knew that Amazon was going to be their biggest competitor, and of course, look at where Walmart is right now. So it's really good that Target has made these moves. Love the upside. Any downside on this though? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because of course, where we're at in comparison to other names and in comparison to where we are in the overall markets. But I do believe that we are in for a bullish run. It is going to be one of the benefactors of the consumer staple names rally back. And I believe it's going to be one of the leaders. And that's really why my attention is on this stock because it's been one of the best performers along with Costco in this sector. Let's take a look at your undervalued stock here. Yeah, 100% is Kohl's, KSS. You know, it's funny, you take a company that has ties to Amazon and they're as weak as they are in comparison to their peers. It's not like Kohl's is really seeing a downfall. The traffic's still there, in my opinion. Traffic's gonna grow. They have incredible sales, and while the margin is a little bit tighter, they're drawing in way more foot traffic than you normally would see just because of the Amazon return aspect. So for me, this is a stock that's starting to climb off the lows. I could see a big, big jump to finish off this end of the year. Well, thank you so much for being on our show today. Thank you for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.